It's a holiday heartbreak for the Dallas Cowboys, as despite their best efforts in Miami, their streak of not losing multiple games in a row over the course of two years came to an abrupt and late game and a highly anticipated Christmas Eve matchup against the Dolphins in Miami. Cowboys leave South Florida with a heartbreaking 22-20 loss, their second defeat in a row. A second half with both teams trading field goals. The climactic moment comes when Dallas gets to the goal line. Dolphins initially seem to get a clutch stop on fourth down, costly pass interference that the Cowboys deserved. They could use a call. They'll be the first to tell you. Uh, that set the Cowboys up to try it again. And Dak Prescott hit Brandon Cooks for the go-ahead score from eight yards out and maybe the winning score from eight yards out. But then the Cowboys made a crucial error that was unavoidable. They left too much time on the clock for an offense that is as good as theirs. The Dolphins, of course, come in the number one scoring offense in football, the Cowboys number two scoring offense in football, and Miami was able to methodically drive down the field, setting up Jason Sanders' 29-yard field goal, another Jason Sanders field goal in this game as time expired, lifting Miami to their 11th win and a thrilling victory for the Dolphins. Prescott finishes the day 20 of 32, 253, two touchdowns. CeeDee Lamb, as usual, the hot target, six receptions, 118 yards, and a long touchdown in the first half. Tua for the Dolphins, 24 of 37 for 293 and one touchdown. Uh, they did deal, the Dolphins did, with some injuries. Mostert, the running back, Waddle, the wide receiver. The Cowboys couldn't take advantage of that. Superstar wide out Tyreek Hill. Leads the league in receiving yards by a big margin. He caught nine for 99, a gut-wrenching defeat. Although the Cowboys are still playoff bound. A gut-wrenching defeat, although the Cowboys still have to figure out the bugaboo, as well as they played in so many ways, of being on the road, on grass, against a quality team. By the way, it did rain, so there was elements there as well. Now they must prepare to host the Lions. The Lions just got done winning their first division title in forever in what is now the NFC North. Uh, they'll play that game at AT&T on Saturday at home. That'll help the Cowboys in a crucial late season matchup again on Saturday night. On the Cowboys and the NFL, Fish out.